I'd like to address something that's going on in our country and the world. But let's let's face it, we want to start focusing on what's going on in our country right now. Uh, with all the riots and the robberies and the burglaries. Uh, in my neighborhood, I take care of the burglaries. And so far, we I don't think we've had any robberies. You know, robberies at gunpoint. Uh, but I've been taking care of most of the burglaries and theft. Uh, put a few people in jail. This has to do with what's going on across the country at any given time. In one particular case, uh, Mobile, Alabama, uh, Stanton Road. Family Dollar was being robbed by an 18-year-old named Adric White. Uh, black male, 18 years old, um, decided uh, after he was after ro after robbing at gunpoint a the original oyster house. He was already he already had that above his head before he tried to do this. A good Samaritan at Family Dollar, while Adri Adric White was holding one of the employees at gunpoint. Apparently, there was a good Samaritan there with a concealed weapon. I'm assuming concealed because they didn't say if he had it uh, open or concealed. He pulled his gun. Now this is somebody, a good citizen, who had has a gun by the Second Amendment. And according to him, Adric White had one of the store employees at gunpoint. The gun pointed to his head, had him on his knees. Not exactly a good member of society, okay? And he shoots him. Luckily for Adric White, he survived. Me personally, it wouldn't have hurt my feelings if he died. You're willing to take up a gun against an innocent person to take what they have? You get what you get. You get what you deserve. Uh, that I got no problem with. Uh, but like I said, Bolden County, Mobile, Alabama, Adric White, good Samaritan with a gun. We need to continue to make sure that our Second Amendment protects us and allows good people to carry weapons. All these places that say no weapons allowed, they put the proper signage up, no weapons allowed, no guns allowed. Who do you think is following that signage? You think a... You think a bank robber is going to go up to a bank and it's, it says no guns allowed? He's going to go, my, 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 I guess I can't rob this bank today. Think about it. All you're doing is giving the criminals leeway to just go in there and do the criminal activity. All you're doing is telling good people to, to not bring their weapons in. You have to think about the signs that you put up. Okay, you tell people not to do anything. Well, the bad people are still going to be doing it. So, what would you rather have? The bad person come in there and shoot your place up or kill you, and the good people can't bring in their guns, so they can't defend you, because that's the whole purpose of the Second Amendment. As I was saying, that is the whole purpose of having the right to carry our weapons, because criminals have their weapons. If we're allowed to carry our weapons, we can defend ourselves, our family, our loved ones, and friends, and third party. Without the good persons having weapons, that just leaves all the criminals to run us over and start killing everyone. Is that what you want? Stop putting up signs that keep good, good people from bringing their weapons in. Because when it hits the fan, you're going to want that good Samaritan in there, in there to save your life think about it. It's not really that hard.